Good evening. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Bonnie, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. So says the priest, putting ashes on my forehead. And I know where all of this is going. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I'm just not sure how I'm going to get there and when I'm going to arrive. But it goes like this. We are born. We live. We die. And when I look in the mirror with my glasses on, it becomes even clearer to me that I need to add one more phrase to that litany. We are born, we live, we age, we die. And ironically, Looking in the mirror these days, my aging is not so apparent to me without my glasses on. We are born, we live, we age, we die. And tonight, I'm not talking about what happens after we die. I'm talking about here and now. All that we know about here and the irrefutable truth that someday you and I will die. And knowing that we will all die, how then do we choose to live. These next 40 days offers us a time to put on our metaphorical and literal glasses and look in the mirror and examine what we see in the eyes of the one who looks back at us. And don't just glance. When you look in the mirror of your life, right now, what do you see? I see fear. How far will Putin push the boundaries? of our world. Longing. When, when is this virus going to end so we can be normal again? Sadness. He is going to die and she is going to be devastated. And there is nothing I can do about it. How about exhaustion? When am I going to take a moment to breathe? One more Zoom call? Oh, say it isn't so. Happiness. This team, this group, it's coming together. Or gratitude. I cannot believe how much I love this call, this job, this vocation. But a hint of arrogance. If you just listen to me, or graciousness. Oh my goodness, so many gifts. 
so much welcome. Or anger? Anger? Really? You thought that doing that was a good idea? Or anticipation? I bet that next year it's different and we can do that. Or illness. Am I going to get sick? What then? Hope? Hope maybe, maybe finally we can work together and our world will change a bit for the good. Despair. My Lord, if we get past this crisis, how will we ever deal with our changing climate and damaged world? Friends, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Fear, longing, sadness, exhaustion, happiness, gratitude, arrogance, graciousness, anger, anticipation, illness, hope, despair. And so I invite you to the observance of a Holy Lent. I invite you to take this time seriously, deadly serious. What about yourself? Might you observe these next 40 days? Will we like what we see? Will we change what we see? I invite you into an observance of Holy Lent. And through what lenses might we look? What about using the lens of scripture to reflect upon our lives? Words inspired by God, written by flawed human beings about the sometimes fragile, often resilient human condition. It's all there in scripture. You want betrayal? There's David and Bathsheba. You want steadfastness? There's Joseph in the book of Genesis and Joseph in the Gospel of Matthew. You want bravery? There's Rahab in the Judges and the woman, the women at the cross in the Gospel of John. You want arrogance? There's Pharaoh and Pilate. You want hope? There's Daniel in the lion's den and Mary Magdalene at the tomb. What about fasting? What might you, what might I decline to partake of to leave a hole for the holy. And what about prayer? Why not giving up feeling bad about not praying quite enough and instead sit still for three minutes and breathe and see if the Spirit intercedes for you as the Apostle Paul says, with sighs too deep for words. Friends, I invite all of us to the observance of a holy Lent. And this Lent, risk looking in the mirror and see what you see. And what might you do with what you see? And remember, At the root of it all is a call from God to wholeness and holiness. A call from God to be who God sees us as. Amazing, gifted people made in God's image and likeness all of us. It's time now to look in the mirror and this Lent 
Tell me, what do you see? Amen.